Hi, Eva here. I'm just going to show you um, how to create a little travel palette out of um, mint tins. Have fun doing this. So I just wanted to show you, uh, I'm making some little uh, travel kits um, for my students that are going with me to China for a watercolor workshop. And um, I just sprayed some um, mint tins. Uh, I use the ones from Trader Joe's because I like that they have a flat lid. The Altoids are also usable, but they have an indentation where the logo is in, in the tin, so I prefer the flat. And I just used a um, semi-gloss white spray, Krylon, to uh, spray them inside and out. And uh, now I'm going to um, glue down uh, some uh, full pans, empty full pans that I bought online. They look like this. And um, uh, Meaden is what it says on the bottom here, but I found them on Amazon. And I bought a hundred, I can't remember what I paid for it, about 10 bucks or something like that. Um, and I like uh, the full pan. You can also buy them in half pans. That's half the size here, but I think that's so tiny. I, I'm not a big fan of tiny. I'd rather have um, a little bit bigger wells to uh, get, you know, a decent size brush into. Um, and so I'm just going to glue them down and I, um, you can glue them down with the, uh, probably with a, a glue gun, hot glue gun. I'm going to use my Yes Glue. I already tested it out and um, that seems to be really holding on really well. And um, I am planning on putting six of these uh, full pans in these little tins. And then um, the idea is you can use the lid to do your mixes. And there are some little um, little empty spaces here where you can put like a sponge and your eraser and um, maybe um, some other little, little tiny tools that uh, you like to have for your watercolors. And then the idea is that you can probably just uh, use a, a water brush, one of the um, watercolor brushes that have water in the handle. Um, and I'm thinking about if I have the time, uh, I would like to put uh, some um, watercolor ground on the lid here. I did it on one of the first prototypes I did because that way I can paint the colors on top of the lid that I have in the pan. And this was my first model that I did also in just a um, Trader Joe's uh, organic mints thing. And I here, you can see I used my glue gun. That's before I thought of buying these here. I used my glue gun to uh, make, uh, here I made uh, eight wells. So I did a stripe the uh, glue down the middle and then, you know, uh, three across and that gave me four little areas that's semi-separated. That worked just fine. As you can see, I've used it. Um, and uh, here's one that I prepped. There's only six spots in this one here, but I think this is going to be better. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm just going to use uh, a little flat brush. Like this is one of the ones I bought cheap at uh, Jerry's Adorama. Um, it's a masking fluid brush from Creative Mark. And um, that works like a charm for putting on the uh, Yes Glue put it on these little guys and then just stick them in and um, it takes a little while for the yes glue to, uh, to dry so I have time to position these little guys so there you go and so make sure that you have the whole thing covered and uh, that way, once it's dry, you have a really great little uh, watercolor tin that will function very well. I should turn these around. Kind of like how I had it in the first one. But they, they don't all have to be the same in my book. So, 
and I, I, I tested it out. You can squeeze seven in of these in the tin, but I think six is a good number. So I'm thinking, obviously the primary colors, which is what I paint with anyway. There we have them. And then I'm just going to position them so it looks as neat as possible. I'm not a particularly neat person. I, I'm not good with straight. I think I've talked about that before. But anyway, I'm hoping that my students will really be happy to put this in their little backpack when we're out and about in China and um, visiting um, old heritage villages and finding fun places to uh, to paint. So I'm going to do all these and then I'm going to fill them out uh, up with the colors. So the next thing I did with my little um, mint tins after I spray painted them, let them dry, glued in. Let me open this one. I can open it here. Um, glued in the little uh, full pans with yes glue or you know matte medium, glossy medium, it doesn't matter. And I also cut out, see if I can get it out, one of these um, I, I cut out a credit a couple of credit cards. Um, so I have little tiny pieces like this with the rounded corner and then I cut it on an angle. So um, like that, and I, that fits in here. And so there you have a little uh, scraping tool. I use the credit cards a lot to scrape things out with, um, for twigs and rocks and stuff like that. And then I'm using, uh, this is Daniel Smith, watercolor color ground. So it's kind of like a gesso for watercolor. I put a couple of layers of that on the on the top here, I just used one of these cheap brushes that I, um, you know, just a cheap flat brush. And I put a couple of layers on, and now I'm just going to uh, uh, sand it a little bit so that it, it gets to be a little bit smoother. And then I'm going to fill the little pans with the color, and then I'm going to swatch out the colors on the lid and write what colors are in there, and then I'm going to uh, buff it out with a little bit of uh, door, door lens uh, wax um, so that it, it won't run and then um, they'll be ready for my travel kit. So I just uh, took a sanding block and uh, this is 400 grit and I'm just going to uh, buff it out a little bit just so it's a little bit smoother there, I think that's good. And um, then pretty soon these will be ready for um, filling and uh, putting the grid on. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to use some masking tape to just um, mask out six little areas on the lid of my mint tins so I can swatch out the colors that I'm going to put in. So I'm just doing it like this. You don't have to do it like this, you know. The original one I did, I didn't do it that fancy, but since I'm going to give these away, I'd like to have them look really nice. So here is the first color that I'm going to put in that's Mayan yellow from Daniel Smith. That's going to be the yellow that we're going to be using in this kit. So you can see I'm just beginning to swatch out the colors as I put them inside here. And um, it's going to look nice because I put that little grid on. Um, my original one that I did. You can see I just swatched them on like that without any any tape. So I want to make it nicer. This is fine, but I think this will be nicer. 
So I'll just carry on. Alrighty, so I finished putting all the little swatches on and I ended up creating a lot of extra work for myself because um, the masking tape I put down, it didn't really um, prevent the paint from flowing underneath. So I spent time cleaning up in between using more masking tape and Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So um, hopefully you don't have to do that. Um, and so now I'm just uh, making the boxes a little bit more pretty. I'm using a Sharpie marker to give them a little edge around since they didn't turn out as crisp as I had hoped for. And then I'm writing the name of the colors in my little sets here. And the colors I chose was French Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Violet, Quinacridone Red, Mayan Yellow, Burnt Umber, and Thalo Blue. Um, except for the French Ultramarine Blue and the Quinacridone Red, the other four colors are not colors that I usually have on my palette, but I thought it would be kind of fun to uh, mix it up a little bit, and I had these colors um, in my stash of colors that um, I don't use that often. So um, I think that'll be a fun set to have on the go. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I um, have some little sponges. Um, these were some sponges I bought at, uh, I think, a beauty supply store. And I wet them. It's the kind you, you can uh, wet and then they kind of puff up. And I'm going to cut them. Um, and probably I can get three out of a strip like that, I think. My idea is that I want to utilize this little space here, put a little sponge in, because that's you can use that to kind of um, dab your water brush on this if you have too much water on. Um, and also if you're using regular brushes, you can use this uh, as your little water control station. So I'm going to put a little sponge in on each of the little tins. and. Um, then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some um, Dorland wax and uh, seal the top here with Dorland wax. But I want to wait until tomorrow because I want to make sure that the colors and everything is bone dry before I do that. And then they're done. Here are the little water brushes. They come with different tips and the water goes into the handle and that way you can easily transport it. You don't have to have a separate water containers or anything like that. And little tips here, they come in different sizes. Um, so that's going to be part of the travel kit. So I let everything dry. I filled up my little tins. And I think they look pretty nice now. But as I told you, I had a little problem because um, the uh, paint did run under the, my tape, so if you want to do it with the tape, you should uh, make sure you push it down really well. Um, so now the, the last step I'm going to do on these here is I'm going to take some Dorland, uh, Dorland's wax medium. It, it doesn't smell bad or anything, so I can do it in my studio. Yeah, And I'm going to take a lint-free cloth. This is one of those you can buy them in. I think they come in pack 20 or something like that. Um, and I'm sure you can also buy them individual um, rags that I bought at the local hardware store. And I just take some of the wax on and let's hope that it doesn't smear. No, nope, it doesn't smear my paintings. And so I'm just going to wax the top here. I can do a couple. Also put a lot of wax on here and I don't want that much on. It's just so that it'll seal it. Get down around the corners there and then I'm going to buff them out and then they're ready for travel. So this is how you make your own little travel palette. And of course you can use whatever colors you like. I think these will be fun for our China trip. And there we have it.
So that was my little hack of the day. Wishing you a wonderful day and happy trails if you're going anywhere. This is great for hiking too or you know if you're camping and stuff like that. Put it in your purse. Doesn't take up much room and uh, you're ready to roll. Happy painting.